What's up guys, it's Monday morning and got a lot of eBay sales going out the door. Let's get to work. Okay, first things down here in B6. It is the GoldenEye 007 N64 game. This is part of that bulk buy I just made. This was in excellent condition, so I priced it pretty high and it sold for $69.99 plus shipping. In that same bin, I sold this Jurassic Park Lego set. Um, it was also in that bulk buy. It sold for $19.99 plus shipping. And then one more thing we're pulling out of there, Toy Story 2. This sold for $12.99 free shipping. Also part of that bulk buy was this N64 in the box. And this thing was just in mint condition. Has the styrofoam, everything. And it sold for $149.99 plus shipping. And let's go down to a viewer named Kevin. Kevin, appreciate the business, man. Hope you like this. I sold two Simpsons posters, and these are the last of the ones that I have. Uh, they each sold for $9.99 plus shipping. And one of these is going out to a viewer named Mason. Mason, thanks for the support. I really appreciate it. Sold that Bengals leather jacket. This is part of all that stuff I bought in Louisville, so I don't think I have much into it. I listed it for $30, or best offer. Somebody sent me an offer of $20 plus shipping, and this is actually a pretty timely sale because the Bengals just got their first win yesterday against the Jets. It's going out to a Bengals fan down in Georgia who's also a viewer. It goes by Chica DS Treasures, so thank you very much for the business, and hope they keep winning some games for you. Okay, next thing, I got this, I guess two weeks ago. Here it is, L.L. Bean Tobacco Tin. I just thought this had a cool look to it. It was at an estate sale, paid three bucks. It sold for $24.99 plus shipping. In the same bin, I sold these cast iron bookends. Robert E. Lee and Ulysses S. Grant, I paid $15 for the pair at an estate sale, they sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Next order has two items. The first is one of these watermelon targets. This is part of that bulk buy I made like six months ago. This sold for $10.99 plus shipping. And the next thing is sunblock. I don't know why somebody needs sunblock in December, but maybe they're going on a vacation or something. This sold for $6.99 plus shipping. Sold a puzzle. I think it is this one right here. This is a Charlie Harper design puzzle. Uh, he's a famous Cincinnati artist. Paid a buck or two for this. It sold for $11.99 plus shipping. I sold that book I got at the estate sale a couple weeks ago. Paid three dollars for it. It's really cool because it's got this wood case that looks like a ammo crate. Just an awesome look to it. I listed this for fifty or best offer, and someone sent me an offer of thirty dollars plus shipping, and I accepted. I sold the lot of quiz whiz stuff that I bought. This has been two or three months that I got this stuff. It was at a church sale. I paid one dollar for all of it because I think she was everything was like a dime or something. So there's seven or eight pieces all together. And the lot sold for $19.99 plus shipping. All right, next thing going out is a book, a photography book. Here it is. I had this listed for like $25 or best offer. Someone sent me an offer of $15 plus shipping. This is in a lot of photography books I bought like two months ago. I had like next to nothing in them. And I've already sold, I think, over like $150 worth of the books. I've done really well with like niche books a niche category uh like carpentry uh i think i've sold like some some botany books and these photography books have done pretty good so when you're looking for books um i'd say steer clear of like your basic like fiction you know the stuff that's like mass produced and uh it's just like a diamond dozen so there is money in books pulling one thing out of storage today sold a Coors Light hat. I actually got quite a few of these. This sold for $8.99 plus shipping and I think I've maybe got like a quarter into this. I bought a bunch of these at a garage sale for a few bucks. Next thing I'm pulling is an F2. This is the last of those watermelon oozing targets that I got in that bulk buy a while ago. This sold for $10.99 plus shipping. Let's go out to a viewer named Matt. He says, what's up John? Buying this for our next camping trip. The kids will love it. Thanks Matt. Part-time pickers. Matt has a YouTube channel and if you guys are not subscribed to it, I highly recommend checking it out. He's one of the genuine guys that just shows his business, shows what he does. It's really informative and very helpful. I will put a link down below to check it out if you guys want to see it. It's part-time pickers. And Matt, thank you for the business, man. I really appreciate it. My neighbor Nathan got a new pallet of stuff. Let's go see what he's got. So I already sold some of the stuff out of here too, which is nice. I had another fireplace like this. Oh, that's nice. Um, Good time of year to sell that. There, it was an LED. It had like 10 different settings for LED, uh, different colors and everything. 
uh, 100 bucks at Walmart. The guy said he literally looked at it that day at Walmart and was like, 100 bucks is too much, and then yeah. saw mine on there for 60 bucks. Oh, heck yeah. He was just right into it. One of the, got an air fryer, these flannel sheets. Um, one of the big things I got here is this Impulse Extreme Turbo. Whoa, it's, that's cool. Yeah. It's a uh, hoverboard accessory plus hmm. an uh, option to make it off-road. This igloo cooler <laughs> is one of those 160 quart beasts. That's huge. Yeah, they sell for like 100. Just blowing it out for This was all months. on the same pallet? All on the same pallet. Wow. Got the pallet for 400 after taxes and everything. So these are both ceiling mounted ceiling boards. These are for the TV version um, boards huh. that you get over top at yeah. uh, like uh, McDonald's or oh, that's cool. B dubs or anything yeah. of that nature. These will hold 125 pounds. Two 40 inch TVs can fit on these. Jeez. They're 555 brand new. I know it's going to be like one of those tough sells where you're trying to look for a specific person. Yeah. But they're 550 brand new. I'm looking to blow the pair out for like 600. Yeah. Like 300 a piece, somewhere right. around there. Because like, it's a matter of finding the right person and giving them the exact price they're looking for. Yeah. That we both get a great deal on it. Got a handful of orders going out the door today. First is in C4. This is a nice L.L. Bean button up I got for a couple of dollars at a garage sale. It sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Sold a Coach wallet. I actually sold a number of things out of here, so I'm just going to pull all this out. These purses and wallets were in that bulk buy I just made with the video games where I paid $600 for everything. I'm pretty close to making my money back. This one sold for $22.99, free shipping. I sold an audiobook. Amish Prayers, new in the plastic. I got this for like a quarter, maybe four or five months ago. It sold for $7.89, free shipping. Sold another wallet here in E1. One buyer bought all three of these. So they've got two Michael Kors wallets and this Michael Kors crossbody bag. And they messaged me about doing a discount for all of them. And I said, that's fine. I gave them a 15% bulk discount. So these three wound up, wound up selling for right around like $76 plus shipping. Sold an N64 carrying case. This was also part of that bulk buy. This sold for $24.99. Plus shipping. I sold that Jungle Green N64. That was part of that book buy. I actually have two of them. I priced this one a little bit higher because it had the expansion pack with it. So this sold for $109.99 plus shipping. We got some pretty cool viewer mail this week I want to show you guys. First thing's from a viewer named John. He says, here are some cars that you might like. I don't follow baseball that much, so figured you'd like them. Recently got into selling on eBay and I love it. My channel is Picking Through Michigan. He sent some 94 upper deck cards. This takes me back to being a kid and collecting cards with my dad. Looks like they're all Reds too. Jeff Brantley, he's actually a Reds announcer now. Kevin Mitchell, he was a good player. These are cool, thank you John. Next is from my buddy Ronnie Hart. He says, hey John, Gretchen saw this pillowcase and told me that you need it. I had to send it to you, I hope you and Whitney have happy holidays. Thanks, Ronnie and Gretchen. And they sent this amazing Cincinnati pillowcase. Look at this. Cincinnati, the Queen City. You've got the stadium right here. Finley Market, Skyland Chili. There's the fountain down the fountain square. That is awesome. Thank you, Ronnie. If you guys don't already know, Ronnie has a channel called Hearts Pickers. The guy knows his stuff. He's been reselling for a long time. And I've learned a lot from him personally. I was watching his channel long before I even started a channel. So I'm going to put a link down below. If you guys want to check out his channel, I highly recommend it. I think you'll like it. Okay, next is from a viewer named Darren. He says, Dear John, I love watching your channel and thank you for your time you give up to show us part of your life and tips on reselling. I found these at a car boot sale for seven pounds, which is about nine dollars, and thought you may like them as a thank you gift. Keep up the great videos. All the best. Darren. The car boot sales are over in England and the way I understand it is a bunch of people just show up in a field and just open up the back of their car. Uh, they call it car, they call it trunks boots. So they just sell everything out of the out of the boot of their car. It's pretty cool. And he sent a big stack of vintage Cincinnati Reds cars. This is awesome. There's Ron Oster, Eric Davis. That's one of my all-time favorite Reds right there. 
Some really good players in here. Dave Concepcion, Billy Hatcher. These are great. Thank you, Darren. I really appreciate it. In a previous video, I showed you guys some things that a viewer sent in for a giveaway. They sent in two Funko Pops and a Pittsburgh Steelers hat. And uh, that viewer goes by the name of Zubikins on eBay. And it was just really generous of them. And the way I said I was gonna do it is to leave a comment in that video. So I wanted to give you guys a few days to comment on that, to be entered in the contest. And now that video has 326 comments. So what we are gonna do is copy that link for the video and put it into this YouTube random comment picker to pick the winners. So here is that right there. We're gonna get the YouTube comments and we are gonna pick a random winner. All right, for this first one, we're gonna give away this Enzo Amor and Big Cass Funko. So that winner is Kev Shady. All right, let me write that down. All right, Kev. You won the Funko Pop, and now we are gonna pick a winner for the Steelers hat. Okay, winner is uh, NJ, T-H-E-R, says, great job, John, if I win, please donate the item to Toys for Tots. Well, I don't know that Toys for Tots will take a Steelers hat, but I will try to find a uh, kid Steelers fan to donate it to, so, very cool. All right, and we'll do one more winner for this Shinron Dragon Ball Z Funko Pop. That winner is Brian K 47 Thank you to everyone that commented on that video and participated, and congratulations to the winners. I'll get these sent out to you. It's Thursday morning, and I've got four orders going out the door. Let's get to work. Okay, the first thing is one of these figurines that I got a couple months ago. Okay, it is the Bavarian Church Tower. This was part of a bulk buy I made a few months back, so I only think I got a couple bucks into this. I listed it for 40 or best offer. Someone sent me an offer of $29.99 plus shipping, and I accepted. And it's going out to be your name, Karen. Karen, thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. Okay, the next thing is a bin I was just working in, actually. It is a Dale Earnhardt car. Here it is. This is part of that bulk buy NASCAR cars that I made. I'm slowly selling through them. I've got $6.75 into each car. This one sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Sold two more Bose speakers They're in that big box right there. I started with 10 of these and I'm down to just two. Um, I got these in a trade for something, so I really don't have much money into them. I sold two of these for $49.99 each plus shipping. Okay, next thing is a camera from that recent bulk buy of cameras I made. This is a Polaroid One Step Flash and I noticed it had a red stripe on it. I've never seen one with a red stripe, so I looked up comps for it and it's worth a little bit more than the standard camera. Standard Polaroid is selling for about 10 to 15 bucks and the red stripe is selling for 20, 25. So this one sold for 19.99 plus shipping. That's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>